I'm Karen Bond, the founder and creative director at House of Bond. I've been in the design industry for over 10 years. I decided to do a entire series around my own personal home renovation. Welcome to my home. Hi everyone, welcome to episode four four of Bonafide. I can't believe we're filming episode four already. I've got Karina, who you guys have met before. Um, she's going to be running through design concept with me. So we're going to do a little catch up on the space plans, mm -hmm. the concept, finishes for my place. I've got a couple of schedule updates. So we're going to run through all that. And then we also have a very special guest. Julia is with us today. She was the student winner of the giveaway that you guys probably all would have seen on YouTube. if you want to and jump in um, or you can just sit tight and kind of watch it's cool too and even though I'm talking this way I'm talking to you too yeah. <laughs> after we go through our programming meeting which you guys would have seen um, we would take all of the clients needs and wants and wishes and lifestyle and all of those notes and then we would come back to them with a concept presentation so this is a little bit different in that typically when we're presenting to a client we would have done a lot of internal mm -hmm. meetings and really like finessed the presentation before we actually present to the client. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be in a little bit more of a raw state and I'm probably gonna give Karina a lot of feedback, um, but that's what we would normally do internally. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part in school? Uh, doing the concept boards. Concept. Everyone yeah. says yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. So jumping in with these concept boards. So Ooh, I like that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Great so photo. taking into consideration of where your townhome is, in lo is located, so it's on the North Shore. You yeah. kind of want to bring those elements into your home to overall, just a really cool image. So yeah. I really gravitated towards this one a lot. My favorite, favorite image. Before you keep running through the images, yeah. the way that we handle concept is not just we're going to put together a bunch of concept boards. Um, and these are like mood boards, but we really want each image on the board as well as the boards collectively to really, really reflect our jumping off point and the concept because we go back to the boards over and over and over again. I do really like this image as a lifestyle image. Yeah, I know that you and Chris do a lot of outdoor activities. I do really like this image. I like that it feels light and playful and there's the molding details and it feels a little bit not serious. Yeah, this one I just thought was kind of fun. I know that maybe you and Chris might want to start a family sometime in the future. A good image for the potential demographic because it, they speak a lot to North Van mm -hmm. and this one too. Mm -hmm. I feel like we could almost push this even further and probably grab like an actual image of Capilano or Lynn Valley or the trails, we could really pinpoint North Fan. Yeah, I did think about that too, but then if we try something literal, sometimes it almost feels too literal and it doesn't work out. No, so see, this is a good exercise to go through because we'll have a we'll have a townhouse project in North Vancouver that we're going to do. Yeah. And it is exactly that. It's like you you need to nail the image in a literal way when you're presenting it to the client because that's all that they mm -hmm. see. And I always say, if people could envision it, they would be a designer. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is the gift, that, the unique gift that we have. <laughs> the image I don't like, which is, I don't like this one. Okay. I feel like there's almost too much black. Maybe the fact that we're looking at such a limited amount of images, but we're seeing three kitchens. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, are we talking this direction, this direction, or this direction? I feel like these two are so similar. Yeah. For me, they work really well together, but then seeing another one that's different leaves it more of like a question mark right. than making it feel more specific. Remember the, the image with the black risers and the wood treads and the staircase? We should add that one. Wood. This feels very chic. Yeah. The black and white, it feels a little like French, which I like, Yeah. but because it's North Vancouver, again, bringing that element of the wood 
really, really strong throughout. You could almost switch out for this one. It has like the gray slate floor. And then actually her. Really? Yes. Because I, I feel like she feels more downtown to me than she feels North Van. North End does feel like a small town. It's not as busy. There's a lot of kids, a lot mm -hmm. of families. It's a very different yeah. demographic. You know what would be great on here too is a fireplace. I know. So I, I yeah. would switch this one, that one, and this one. Yeah, I think Just I... to make it very like clearly, clearly tightened up as a North Vancouver space. Yeah. Now this is very tricky. I'm like a little bit nervous about this one, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, okay, so. As part of our process, what we do is when we're doing a, a concept presentation, we'll present the client the concept boards, and then we present a words board, and we come up with a series of words that we feel like really describe the concept, and we walk the client through those words to make sure that we're all on the same page. The words are only for internal use. We're giving away a lot of secrets today. Yeah, totally. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is difficult too. This is, we... It's a long time. <laughs> it does take a long time, and usually I, I change all the words, so... Yeah, I had come up with Northern West Coast Glamour. Okay. Bringing in that North and West Coast feel into the space. I kind of broke this tagline down into a couple phrases or words. So, this is, um... I will change everything. <laughs> Um, this is where, okay, so this is the tricky part because when you're working with a client, I really truly feel like your clients, they, they tell you everything that you need to know. Mm -hmm. You just have to be able to listen or either extrapolate it from the client mm -hmm. in the right way. I would actually just call this North Vancouver Sheet. And the reason being is because, again, when I think of North Vancouver, I think of such a distinct style. I would almost do as first black and white. I like where you're going with natural, mm -hmm. like nature inspired. I did think of that too. And I think classic is a really good word with all the moldings and yeah, stuff exactly. like that. Yeah. I don't know so much about clean and crisp. As I think modern is a good word. Mm -hmm. And I like, yeah. I like the vintage inspired a lot. Yeah. And as we develop the design, it's like, okay, does this feel nature inspired? So we always come back to those words and it's critical as part of our process. Mm -hmm. Usually when we do this internally, we'll go through a couple rounds of this before the client even, even sees it. Mm -hmm. Moving forward from the words boards, I just have the space plans underneath. So this is where I'm coming up to my first project snag. I was talking to the structural engineer and he's told us that this wall is a load-bearing wall. So I need to come up with a way that's going to be less expensive, but still open up the space. Can we blow up out any of the wall? Yeah. Yeah. We probably need to find some points where we can have columns. Right. There's one here, one here, and something here. I think we should suggest this to the structural engineer. Okay. And then what I'd like to do is a walkthrough with a contractor. Just for you guys too, with space plan, another change that I wanted to make was to flip the fireplace. It used to be on this wall. I've now flipped it to this wall, which I like so much better because this way the sofa faces the fireplace and faces all the other spaces. So it feels way more open. And then for the upper floor, what I was playing around with was the master ensuite and the closet so that we can have the plumbing um, in line still. So now like, the plumbing is sitting like right here. You guys will remember from episode one when I was talking about the bulkhead above the kitchen cabinets. So that bulkhead is right where the drain for the toilet is upstairs. And it's concealed in a really good spot because it's inside a wall. I need to figure out what to do with this drain. I can move it, but the issue that I have is actually this. The toilet can't drain this like way. Around. It has to drain straight. Okay. So I need to hide it somehow, and I don't want to have just one weird bulkhead in the middle of the room. So I'm trying to create a ceiling detail or design where if you were standing downstairs, you wouldn't even know that that was a drain. Mm -hmm. See, these are the problems we try to figure out all the time mm -hmm. with for clients. That's why space planning takes so long. It's not as easy as people think. We want to plan it so that the construction goes smoothly. So we can do a little bit of space planning to try to figure that out. 
So there's two snags. One is the engineer and the other one is this toilet. I don't know where to put yeah. it so we can drain it properly upstairs. That one is going to be tricky. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So let's maybe skip over the lighting plan because we can talk about that together. Yep. So for the finishes plan, yep. just did hardwood flooring throughout. Yep. Doing a tile in the powder room. So maybe we want to do a little mat. A tile inlay, right? Yeah. And then upstairs. So just doing hardwood up the stairs and then into the corridor and then carpet in the bedroom and the closet. Right now I'm just showing some big, nice, large format tile in the master en suite. And then in the bathroom, just some 12 by 24 tile. So something simple. And then I have done just a quick little sketch of the kitchen and just the bath. So I was mainly going off of this image here. Mm -hmm. So what I really liked was that the cabinetry was black, which I've notated here. And then doing a butcher block top, which I know you guys had talked about before. Yeah. So that would be your counter here. Mm -hmm. And I've just shown your appliances and I have the appliance package here from Midland as well. Ooh, and news for you guys. The kitchen appliances. So yeah. I think we've decided to go with the Fisher Paykel appliance package. And we're going to try to keep everything as integrated as possible. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. And some open shelving here on the side. The open shelving is great. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's amazing. Even after opening this up, I feel like there's not enough storage. <laughs> At least you have an island. It's, that's true. Yeah. There is an island. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already thinking about selling this one and doing a house, so stay tuned for Bonafide Season 2. <laughs> that was the concept presentation okay. package. Okay, awesome. So I can make tweaks as necessary. So we need to finalize the space plan. Exactly, yeah. We need to put together a demo plan, mm -hmm. and the lighting plan looks like it's pretty much there. Yep. Yeah. Should we talk a little bit about schedule? Sure. A contractor walkthrough can happen next week. Okay. So then we would be submitting for our building permit in November. Okay. This is shift. I will shift this. So crazy. And then hopefully we get our building permit by December and we're starting construction in January. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I will update this and then send this to both of you. I'm only smiling because I'm looking at this going, it's not going to be until May, the <laughs> earliest that we're in. That's so crazy. That's super crazy. Are you guys going to be able to stay tuned in until <laughs> May? I feel like that's a long time. Really good job. Cool. Thanks, Karina. Thank you. Cool. Did you have any questions or anything that you wanted to ask? Or um, well, if you don't, like that's you okay too. When do you decide to take that step to either run your own business or to mm -hmm. make the next move? I always say it's, it's so important to know yourself. If you at your core feel like you're a business person, mm -hmm. then I would go and start your own business. Right. But if you at your core feel like you're a designer and a creative person, yeah. I would find an environment where you can be creative and be a designer because they're two different animals in terms of the right time or the, when you're confident enough. I don't think that there ever is the right time. I think you just know in your gut yeah. when you want to do it and then you try it yeah. and then you either stick with it and love it or it sucks and you hate it mm -hmm. and then you go find a job again. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming down. Thank you for having this opportunity. No, Fantastic. yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Hopefully you got something it's out nice of it. To, like, see this, like, in I know, person. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that is it for episode oh, okay. four. Got a little bit of work ahead of us, I think. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, Please make sure you do that. Okay. I've got an exciting episode. Okay. The next episode of Bonafide is a another shop in a showroom. So I'm going to head down to Divine Flooring to actually pick out our hardwood floors. The reason why this is going to be exciting is because we actually designed the showroom in Vancouver, which is over on Main Street. Um, it's a beautiful showroom, so I can't wait to show you guys that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Share this with your friends on yeah. social media, Facebook, Instagram, if you liked it. And if you did like it, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And until next time, bye for now. Thanks for watching the YouTube channel. Oh yeah, all like all the girls that I went to school with, like we all watched it. Do you all watch it? Okay, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they were all like, a little upset that yeah. I... In the beautiful Divine Flooring showroom, I'm so excited to be here this morning. Uh, two reasons. One, my team, House of Bond, had designed the showroom. So I'm here picking out floors uh, for my home renovation and we're filming another episode of Bonafide. Also from the Cosmopolitan Collection.